Hello and thanks for watching this video, a series of features for Acumatica 2020 R2. So in this video we're going to talk about credit card processing enhancements that have been made to Acumatica. So the first one is, under processing settings, we open up our authorized.net tokenized. So in our processing center, traditionally Acumatica would always save the credit card payment profile. Meaning every time you added a credit card to the customer profile or on the fly in an order, Acumatica would store that on your processing center. So they would take care of and store that information and on the Acumatica side, there would be a token that could use that credit card again in a future transaction. Fully PCI compliant. However, now Acumatica has an option to no longer save those payment profiles so that you can only use them one time and continue to ask the customer for the credit card each time. This might be a good plan for certain businesses. So over here, you can see there's a checkbox. From the processing center profile, we can turn this off so that it's no longer an option. Now, if it is an option and we take a look at, for example, customer classes, So customer classes are your customer categories. So these categories, essentially when you create a new customer and you select the customer class, it can bring in all of these defaults. In some situations though, the customer class itself provides settings that are applied to all customers. So for example, if we were to add any attributes here, these attributes would show up, the attribute types, would show up against all the customers. Additionally, we have a setting here now for the credit card processing settings, and that is to save the payment profiles. Any setting we change here will apply to all customers that are associated with this class ID, so in this case, key class. So our options are to always save the payment profile for all these customers, to never save the payment profile, or there's an option that each time we create a payment, we can decide to save it at the user's preference. So that's the setting here. Now, if we create a new payment to see how this looks, we'll select our customer. We'll select our payment method. You can see here, we now have the ability to save the card if we want to. This is upon confirmation. So you'll have that option. Now, if I save this card, and let's say I put in an amount, I'll select an invoice here. You'll notice we have a status here called pending processing now. So Acumatica knows that this is a credit card payment, and as such, it will give us the option to process it later. But it knows because it's a credit card payment that something needs to be done here. It's not completed yet. Now, if we go to our actions menu, you'll see there's a couple of options here. The first one is the, the ability to capture the credit card. This would authorize and capture the credit card in one shot. Authorize could just authorize it for later capturing. It'll bring in the authorization code that you can use again to collect the funds, capture. We also have an option here to record a credit card payment externally. And what this does is it gives us the ability to enter the authorization code that we may be used from a different processing window. Maybe you went to authorize.net's website or your gateway's website and you entered the credit card information there and here is the reference of it. Later on, you can validate this and I'll show you that. But in this case, we'll capture. Now, because we have new cards selected, Acumatica prompts us for the credit card information. So we enter in, this is just a test credit card, we'll enter it in. And you can see the payment status goes to closed. It's closed because not only did we capture the credit card, but we also applied it to an invoice fully. So there's no balance left on it, which is why it's closed. Under credit card processing information, you can see 
all of our attempts to run this credit card. So there could be an authorization here, there could be a failed attempt. In this case, we authorized and captured, we approved it for $500, and this is the processing center transaction number. And again, if we wanted to, we could have captured this credit card externally, maybe a credit card terminal, or for example, the credit card processing gateways website, and then entered it in later. Now, if we record the credit card externally, we have this option called Validate External Transactions. And what this does is it allows you to see your external transactions here and their statuses. Now, I don't have anything in here, but selecting these and hitting Validate will go back to the processing center with this transaction number and get the latest status. So that's what the screen's for. And you'll notice in Acumatica 2020 R2, we now have these different filters for understanding why these credit card transactions might be held for further clarifications and mid approvals. Now under sales orders, there's a few new changes there. So we'll create a new sales order. We'll select a customer. We'll add an item. And one of the things you can see here, if you're familiar with Acumatica previous versions, is there's no payment settings tab anymore. Instead, Acumatica has just one tab for payments. So traditionally, there was a payment settings and you'd use this for credit card processing. It had a screen there that allowed you to understand the capture and the authorization. You could add a new credit card. All that information would be done there. But Acumatica is consolidated into this payment screen. And traditionally, this payment screen was used simply for collecting payments, like an accounts receivable type payment where it's check and that kind of thing. Or you're just recording the payment. But now, if we click Create Payment, you get a much simpler pop-up that allows you to select the amount You can choose the payment method here. You'll notice it's not a full payment screen where you have to go into the Orders to Apply tab. For those of you who are familiar with Acumatica, previously there's a, a tab called Orders to Apply, which you had to go to, and it didn't open up by default, so you went to the screen and you really didn't know what you're applying. This is much simpler and easier to understand. So Visa tokenized, and now we have an option to capture or authorize, and then capture later. So if we click Authorize, You can see here, we now have a status of pending processing. Again, that's our payment status. We have our reference number, and you can see the status from the processing center, as far as the processing center is concerned, is pre-authorized. You'll also see the unbilled amount. This is unbilled because we haven't shipped this order yet, so it's considered unbilled, and the authorized amount. So you have these fields here now that give you a good indication about what has been paid. Now, with all these different payments, there could be multiples here, you can then highlight the one you want, void, or capture the credit card payment. And there's an option to import as well. But what we'll do is we'll capture the payment. And now you can see this amount of money moved from authorized to paid, and we now have an unpaid balance. This is very helpful, too, because sometimes you may have an order and you may decide that later on, maybe you can't ship it, you've talked to the customer, they've canceled it. So having this void payment button right here, and again, all in one tab, can be really helpful. So that's Acumatica 2020 R2, new payment processing enhancements, and the sales order has now been streamlined to handle these payments. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.